from Fred Junkies and we are back. Um, we have got a quick lesson for you today. This is gonna be a Texas blues style lesson. Um, a lesson that's really kind of gonna up your speed, up your aggression and put your stamp on your blues playing. It's inspired by the great Steve Ray Vaughan, Philip Sace. If that's your kind of thing, you'll probably enjoy this lesson. Um, if you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that subscribe we, and look back for the videos. We've got artist lessons, gear reviews, tone tips, all sorts, and there's plenty more to come. Um, so no more talking. We're going to dive straight into the lesson. This is Richie from Fret Junkies. Thank you for being here. Make sure to subscribe. I stuck straight into this, okay? I'm going to play it. We are in E-flat. It's an E-pentatonic run with a few, uh, one chromatic note and possibly another note out of the blues scale. But yeah, for the mo most part, it's an E-blues run. It goes something like... <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to break this right down, okay? Beginning like this. Slide to the 7th fret on the E. 5, 6, 7 on the A. 5 on the D. 7, slide to 8, back to 7. Okay. 5. Uh, seven on the A, seven, five on the D. And then we're going to slide up to the uh, ninth on the D and try and kind of repeat that little bit of a pattern. worth noting that I play like every lick I do I can never kind of repeat it um, so they, they might be a bit different slightly different each time I play it but I'm just giving you the bare bones as per usual okay so we've got okay and now here's where the fun pack goes okay so uh slide now from the 9 up to the 12 with a bend at the end and then you want to accent the bend hit the note again and bend one more time so and then we're going to do a hammer off flick So we're going 9, 12, 9, 11 on the D, back to the 9, which would be the root. And then when you hit the 9, it, this, this kind of vibrato is important for this lick. You want to take your hands off and anchor your whole, f whole hand with that one finger. That's all it's touching here. So slowly... Now you can come out of it how you want or you can climb back up to a higher note but one way I like to get back down to the nut is a simple uh, falling lick. So it's 9-7. Nine, 9-7. Seven. Nine, seven. Five, six. And then at the end there, we're just playing it. Okay, so I play it for real slowly for you. Okay. 
So coming out of the band, we got... Open D, hammer onto the E. E. So you want to get all those E's ringing. You've got three E's at the same time there. You're really stamping that home. Or E flat. And on that last bit, you want to kind of grab that high E with your finger and really like pluck it. One last time. <laughs> 